Welcome back to my build of the Flare SE5A. And as you can see now, I've got the wings completed at least to this stage. There's no planing being done, the wings haven't been tidied up or sanded. Um, but it's taken a couple of weeks to get to this stage. Uh, quite a laborious process. But I think and I hope it's worthwhile. Any of you familiar with uh, the flare kit will notice that I've already made some modifications, where some more obvious than others. The first one, obviously, is the addition of these smaller ribs and the capping strips. I've done that because I feel that when it's covered, a lack of them would be quite obvious. So it's purely cosmetic and something I think and I hope is, is going to be worthwhile. Another change that I've made is that I've beefed up quite substantially uh, the bracing. The bracing was pitiful um, that was included um, for the dihedral. Somebody commented that they'd seen heavier bracing in a rubber-powered model. So they've been uh, substantially beefed up. You can just see them there. I've used uh, mahogany plywood. They're, they're upper and lower, front spar, upper and lower, lower spar. Um, I felt that that was necessary. Cliff Harvey, who's got a really good um, YouTube channel, he's a really inventive and creative modeler, he pointed out in a comment that a lot of people are afraid to make modifications or alter plans. And I think there's a good reason for that. Obviously, a lot of effort's gone into the planning and design of models. But sometimes I think you have to make the model that you want. And if you can see a problem, you have to be confident enough um, to alter it. Uh, another thing that I'm going to alter, I'm waiting for the servos to arrive, is I intend to have two servos in the lower wing driving the ailerons rather than one in the central section driven through bell cranks. So that's where I'm up to. I'm sort of fatigued on building wings at the moment. Um, there's lots to still do on these. It'll take a fine day. I'll get outside to sand them and plane them down. Um, but there we go. Onwards and upwards.